Welcome back, Tommy Underhill. I'm the ADHD and Autism Specialist at Littleton Couples and Family Counseling. And today I want to ask you, do you have undiagnosed ADHD or autism? Stick around to the end, got some good information here. Like and subscribe and that way you'll get heads up when I post new information. Biological parents have a highly accurate and underutilized test that has a high probability of success in indicating they may have undiagnosed ADHD or autism. The first step in this test requires no additional time out of your busy schedule, initially requires no additional expenses, is non-invasive, and you may have already received the results. This test is also backed by peer-reviewed research. As published in the Journal of American Medical Association Psychiatry in 2019, an international group of researchers studied the full birth cohort records. Every record of all the children, 2,001,631 children to be exact, born between January 1st, 1998 and December 31st, 2011. The records were followed up to age 16. Full birth cohort studies utilize the records of all the children born within a date range and presents an unbiased view of the population under review. The study estimates the heritability of autism spectrum disorder to be approximately 80%. As a side note, the five countries studied did not include the United States. The U.S. does not have full cohort birth records available. We are unable to analyze the population for trends and potential future problems. Looking back to the 2013 in the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry, the findings of a study show ADHD is familial and heritable and is often co-occurrent with autism spectrum disorder. So far, probably not a whole lot that you haven't seen so far. Let's circle back to my claim about this test that seems almost too good to be true. If one or more of your biological children have been diagnosed with ADHD or autism, there's a very good chance that either you and or the, their other biological parent has ADHD or autism. If your life feels totally out of control compared to your peer group, it might be a good time to meet with a medical professional who is competent in identifying ADHD or autism. No judgment, no shame, no guilt here. These conditions do not define you. In fact, if you like your life better as is, don't go for a diagnosis. Get some help with structure. It's what I do. I work with the good folks like yourself to provide skills and frameworks to bring some order and success into your life. If this applies to you, give us a call. Let's chat. And from there, until next time, we'll see you here.